Good morning, everyone. I'm Miss Sarah, and welcome to Storytime. A couple of announcements before we get started. If you have not come to the library to pick up your Storytime kit, be sure to stop by and ask at any of our service desks. We still have these available. It has a schedule of the virtual Storytime, a scarf, and your very own shaky egg. So be sure to come in and get one of those for your kiddo. Uh, secondly, if you have not heard about our telephone tales, let me tell you more. So various staff members are recording longer picture books and you can call in, like dial a story, and listen to us read them. We change the story every week. You can call 816-205-7695 and listen to that. Right now we're finishing up fall and veering into Christmas, so be sure to check that out. We have some fun books coming. And if you want to catch up on what we've been reading, you can go to our YouTube channel and listen to previous recordings. And it's just the front cover of the book while you listen. There's no flipping of the pages. So again, that's 816-205-7695. I think you'll enjoy it. So let's get started with our opening song. And this is five little monkeys jumping on the bed. So I'm going to do five little monkeys this way with my five fingers. And we're also going to do no and more. You're welcome to jump up and down if you'd like, however you want to participate. together our letter of the day so we can figure out what we're reading books about today. So who can tell me about this? We, see you st we were seeing a lot of those last month, weren't we? Mm-hmm. Pumpkin! <gasps> Ooh, look at that. It's a treasure chest. Mm-hmm. Yep, it's a pirate's treasure chest or a prize chest, depending on which interpretation you prefer. I know some of y'all like pirates. <gasps> What's this little boy wearing? Mm-hmm, he's wearing his pajamas. He's getting ready to go to bed. Oh, What's this black and white animal? Mm-hmm, it's a penguin, you're right. Ooh, who likes this food? <laughs> I thought so. Yeah. And, oh, here's another black and white animal. What's this one? Mm -hmm. Panda. And another animal. <gasps> mm -hmm. It's a pig. You're right. So, what is our letter of the day? Mm -hmm. It's the letter P. For presents, that's why I have all these empty boxes <laughs> with wrapping paper on them behind me, because we're gonna read books about presents today. But before we do that, 
let's get our finger pencil out and we're going to make the letter P. So you can see here we have a straight line and then we have a bump. So I think we can do that, right? So finger pencils out, straight line down and off, and then we go back up to the top and go bump and off, just like that, the letter P. Let's do that one more time, okay? So finger pencils out, we're going to make a straight line down and off, and then come back up to the top and go bump and off, just like that, the letter P for presents. So our first book is actually one that's kind of part of a series. Mustache Baby! This is a Mustache Baby Christmas by Bridget Heos. You know that Baby Billy was born with a mustache and that Baby Javier was born with a beard. But did you know that on Christmas beard, Eve, Javier's beard turned white? Oh my goodness, who does he look like? <laughs> he looks like Santa. That made him Santa's number one helper, Santa Baby. His job was to deliver presents to all the babies in the world. There was no time to waste. First, he listened to the baby's Christmas wishes. Then, he made a list and checked it twice. The babies were mostly nice, but a few were awfully close to going on the naughty list. Next, Santa Baby readied, readied the reindeer for their big night and traced the treats that Mrs. Claus was making. It was his good duty to test each and every one. With the hustle and bustle of Christmas Eve, Santa Baby hadn't had time to make the toys. And there were so many on the list. Look at that long list. And look, I think Santa Baby fell asleep. Just then, Baby Billy came stashing through the snow. In a twinkling, he offered to be an elf in Santa Baby's workshop. He toiled and tinkered in the workshop all day. Finally, he stepped back to admire his work. What a wonderful sight. Look at all those toys he made. Pretty impressive, huh? So wonderful, in fact, that Billy decided to keep all the toys for himself. He had made them, after all. Mine, mine, mine! As the trucks, trains, and trinkets piled higher, Elf's baby mustache grew and curled up at the ends until he had a bad guy mustache. Uh oh, that's not good. When Santa Baby came to load his sleigh, he couldn't believe his eyes. Elves were supposed to make toys, not take toys. Yet Billy had turned the winter wonderland into a winter plunderland. Santa Baby picked up his crayon and scribbled Billy's name onto the naughty list. That really frosted Billy's cookies. He kind of looks angry, doesn't he? In a fit of holiday rage, he undecked the halls and snatched Santa Baby's Christmas sweets for himself. Oh, he didn't. Santa Baby's beard grew fluffier and fluffier until he had, well, not a bad guy beard because he was Santa Baby after all, but a mad guy beard. Whoa. Look at that. He saddled up the reindeer and gave chase. There they go. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Santa's baby's aim was ice cold. Billy dropped the treats and took cover. Then, ready, set, splat. Uh-oh. He hit one of the reindeer. Oh, no. Santa Baby and Elf Baby rushed to the reindeer's aid. They brushed the snow off of him, took him inside, and gave him a special remedy. <gasps> what does he have in his paws? Mm-hmm. Candy cane. Billy apologized for causing all the trouble. Filled with Christmas spirit, Santa Baby made Billy his elf again. As soon as Billy soon realized that it was better to give than to receive. Oops, he's helping to give out the toys. 
Just then, <gasps> jingle bells rang out overhead. It was Santa, grown up, there to deliver two very special presents. First, he checked his list. He checked it twice. Billy had made it onto the nice list by a hair. Billy and Javier had done such a good job with their friends that Santa asked them to help him deliver presents all over the world. Into the sleigh they hopped and off they flew. And kids heard them exclaim as they rode out of sight, Merry mustache to all, and to all a beard white. The end. Mustache baby's kind of fun, huh? Okay, let's do our next song. This is Shrug Your Shoulders. So you ready to shrug your shoulders? Okay. Shrug your shoulders up and down. Shrug your shoulders, there's no sound. Shrug your shoulders up and down. Shrug, 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 up and down. Good job. Shake your hands now up and Can you down. Shake them up and down. Shake your hands now, there's no sound. Good job. Shake your hands now up and down. Shake, 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 shake up and down. Good job. Move your head now you up and down. Head. Move your head now, there's no sound. Move your head now, up and down. Good job. Move, 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 up and down. Twist your wrists now, up and down. You twist your, twist wrists? your wrists now, there's no sound. Twist your wrists now, up and down. Twist, 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 up and down. Good job. Move your eyes now, up and and down, move your eyes your now, eyes. there's Look no up, sound. Move your eyes now, up and down. Good job. Move, 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 move up and down. Good job. Okay, so remember this little fella? Mm hmm. He's the mouse that likes to hide. And since we're talking about presents today, I brought some presents for him. To hide in and under. So let me get this arranged. So what I want you to do is call out the color of the present or the pattern like stripes or polka dots, okay? And we'll look under there and see if we can find that mouse. So little mouse, little mouse, where are you hiding? Under the blue one? Okay, let's look. <gasps> You found him first go around. Very good. Okay, so let's hide him again and see if you can find him. Okay. So little mouse, little mouse, where are you hiding? The purple one? Okay, let's see. <gasps> nope. Little mouse, little mouse, where are you hiding? The yellow bow? Okay, let's see. No, not there. Where is that little mouse? Behind the stripes? Okay, let's look. Nope. The green bow? Little mouse, little mouse, are you behind the green bow box? Well, I wonder where he could be. You think he's here? You're sure? Okay, little mouse, little mouse, are you behind the polka dot box? <laughs> you found him, good job. Okay, so our last book is based on a popular Christmas song. This is I Want a Hippopotamus for Christmas. And it's recently republished, same illustrations. So parents, if you check this one out and you're a music note reader, there is music in the back, and you're welcome to sing along with me today if you would like. So, I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. A hippopotamus is all I want. Don't want a doll, no dinky tinker toy. I want a hippopotamus to play with and enjoy. 
I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. I don't think Santa Claus, Claus will mind do you. He won't have to use our dirty chimney flue. Just bring him through the front door. That's the easy thing to do. I can see me now on Christmas morning creeping down the stairs. Oh, what joy and what surprise when I open up my eyes to see a hippo hero standing there. I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. Only hippopotamus will do. No crocodiles or rhinoceroses. I only like hippopotamuses and hippopotamuses like me too. I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. A hippopotamus is all I want. My mom says a hippo would eat me up. But then teacher says hippo is a vegetarian. I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. The kind I saw last summer in the zoo. We got a car with room for two in our two car garage. I feed him there and wash him there and give him his massage. I can see me now on Christmas morning creeping down the stairs. Oh, what joy and what surprise when I open up my eyes and see a hippo hero standing there. I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. Only hippopotamus will do. No kangaroos or duckle palapuses. I only like hippopotamuses and hippopotamuses like me too. The end. Okay, thank you for singing with me. And probably you sang better than I did on that one. Okay, so our last song is Ready, Steady, Wiggle. So, if you have your shaky egg, do, 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 it's all the way in the bottom of my bag. Ah, go ahead and get that out. And we're going to do our last song. This is Ready, Steady, Wiggle by the Wiggles. Ready? <laughs> short one. So thank you for joining me. I'll see y'all next week. Bye.